Breaking Bad star Brian Cranston has spoken about an encounter with Charles Manson and escaping his clutches a year before the cult killer led a murderous rampage through Los Angeles. Hearing Charles Manson is dead, I shuddered, Cranston wrote in a Twitter post Monday. I was within his grasp just one year before he committed brutal murder in 1969. Luck was with me when a cousin and I went horseback riding at the Span, Sick, Ranch, and saw the little man with crazy eyes whom the other hippies called Charlie. Charles Manson died Sunday. Breaking Bad's Brian Cranston said news of his death made him shudder as he was within the serial killer's grasp while at the ranch where the Manson family was living. Cranston told of his encounter with Manson a year before the infamous Manson family murders of 69. Cranston did not elaborate on what could have turned out to be a fateful relationship with the now deceased criminal. The post suggests he saw Manson at Span Ranch where the Manson family lived rent free in exchange for chores. The ranch was owned by George Spann who was in his 80s when he let the group stay there. During the infamous Manson family slayings, the group resided on the ranch, however Spann was never accused of a role in the murders. Related articles previous. 1. 2. Next. The Murders That Rocked America, How Pregnant Sharon Tate. Demonic con man who killed the 1960s dream, as Charles Manson. Sharon Tate's sister prayed for Charles Manson's soul. Share this article. Share script DM. Later, bundle, function, if, DM. Rotator, new DM. Rotator, P24, pages ice, 1, page count, 2.0, active class, active, rotate, false, dollar, number P24. Share, dot on, click, function, dms.facebook.posttoff, related. Manson was 83 years old when he died and had been behind bars for more than four decades, since 1969, after he ordered members of his cult, which he dubbed the family, to go on a murderous two-day rampage. Three of his followers, Susan Atkins, Patricia Krenwinkel, and Leslie Van Houten, killed seven people, Pregnant actress Sharon Tate, Abigail Folger, Wojciech Frykowski, Leno, and Rosemary LaBianca, Stephen Parent and Jay Sebring. He had ordered his family members to slaughter Tate, who was eight and a half months pregnant, and three of her friends at her home above Beverly Hills. Stephen Parent was a fifth unfortunate victim that night. He had driven to the property to see if caretaker William Garreston wanted to buy his AM-FM clock radio and had stayed on for a beer at the guest house. He was shot multiple times when he wound down the window at the electric gate as he left. Manson spent decades behind bars for orchestrating murders that sent Los Angeles into panic. The following night the family butchered small business owners Leno and Rosemary LaBianca, in their home in Los Angeles. The murders were carried out in upscale mostly white neighborhoods of Los Angeles in order to blame the crimes on African Americans, in the hope of sparking what he termed a helter-skelter race war. Manson was also later convicted of the slayings of musician Gary Hinman and stuntman Donald Shorty Shea. During the trial he was convicted of leading a cult in which disaffected young people living in a commune followed his orders and were ultimately turned into killers.